Welcome to Creative Live's Photoshop Quick Tips. I'm your instructor, Ben Wilmore. Let's take a look at how to whiten teeth using Photoshop. In this example, I'm going to use Adobe Camera Raw to make the change. Camera Raw is a plugin that comes with Photoshop and is mainly accessed by starting in Adobe Bridge, going to the File menu, and choosing Open in Camera Raw. You can open RAW files, JPEG files, or TIFF files. I'll start with the Zoom tool in the upper left, and I'll click a few times near the teeth to zoom up and see what we have to work with. Then I'm going to switch to the adjustment brush, which is found near the center top of my screen. With that tool active, I look on the right side of my screen and I'm presented with a series of adjustment sliders, where Photoshop wants me to specify which type of adjustment I would like to paint into this image. So I'm going to start by just guessing at what type of change I'd need to make. My guess is I would like to make the teeth a little bit brighter. And I'll do that by moving the highlight slider towards the right. I would also like to make the image less colorful. And I'll do that by moving the saturation slider towards the left. You don't want to move saturation too far, though. Otherwise, the teeth can start to look gray and not have any color whatsoever. But we don't need to choose the exact settings needed because we're going to paint this into the image. And once we're done, we can fine tune the settings. Finally, before I paint, I'll go down near the bottom of the options, and I'll find a choice called Auto Mask. I want to make sure that's turned on, and that's going to try to make sure that when I paint, I don't have to be too precise, that Photoshop will make sure I don't get overspray onto the gums that are surrounding the teeth. Finally, above that, we have some settings where I can adjust the size of my brush, and I can control how soft of an edge it has with the feather setting. And I'll move feather down quite a bit so that we don't have it fading out too much. And I can adjust size some more, whatever I need. Also on this area, you're going to find flow and density. I want both of them turned up to 100% because that controls the strength of the adjustment I'm applying, and I want 100% of what I asked for. So now I think we're set up to start. I'll move my mouse over towards the teeth, and when I do, I notice a crosshair inside of my brush. I want to make sure that when I paint on the teeth, I never allow that crosshair to touch anything other than teeth. So I'll click, and I'll start to paint across a tooth. I'll let go, and I'll move to the next tooth. Click, and paint over it. And if I want to see what part of the image is changing, I notice the image getting brighter and less colorful, but if I really want to see it, I can go to the lower right of my screen and turn on the mask checkbox. Then I'll see a red overlay that indicates which areas are changing. So I'll come in here and continue to paint on the teeth, trying to get the red to cover all the teeth. And I know I'll get a little bit of overspray onto the gums, but we can touch that up in just a moment. I'm just trying to, for now, get red on all the areas I might need to change. Looking pretty good there, but I see the overspray onto the gums. So on the right side of my screen, I find a choice called Erase. And that means we're going to take away where the red overlay is that indicates where we're going to adjust the image. I can then fine tune my settings. Maybe I get a slightly softer brush. Turn my flow all the way up so I completely delete things. And adjust the size of my brush to get it to be nice and small so I can get into tight areas. And now I can come over and paint to remove the red and get the overspray off of the gum line. If you want to change your brush while you're out here, you can use the square bracket keys on your keyboard to get a larger or smaller brush to come over and paint, trying to remove the red off of any gum areas. You don't have to get it 100% gone because all we're going to do is be brightening and making things slightly less colorful. So it doesn't mean that somebody's going to be able to see all these areas where we have a little bit of red overlay. But if there are any blatant areas of overspray where you definitely don't want to change it, I would remove them. Then on the lower right, I'm going to turn off the mask checkbox. I'm also going to turn off a checkbox called Overlay. The overlay is what's causing this little red dot to appear. And that indicates where I started my adjustment. If I turn off the Overlay checkbox, it'll turn that off. 
And now I can fine tune our end results by moving all of the adjustment sliders found on the right side of my screen. If I adjust saturation, I can make the teeth more colorful, which I don't think I'll like, or less, and you'll see if you bring it too low that she just has gray teeth. So it's a matter of finding a good balance to get just a little bit less colorful. Then I might come up to highlights and see if we can brighten those teeth. And I think I can do a pretty good job of it. Finally, if you need to pull a little bit more yellow out, you could move a slider called temperature just a little bit away from yellow, and that would absorb a little yellow. But don't move that too far, otherwise she'll end up with bluish teeth. If you want to see before and after, there's an icon near the lower right of the image that I have my mouse on right now. If you click it, you'll see what the image looked like before. Click it again, and you'll see after. And now you've seen how to whiten teeth in Photoshop. If you want to learn a ton more about Photoshop, then look at my complete course on Creative Live, Photoshop CC, the complete guide. Thanks for watching.